Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So my name is Jason and I'm a prop trader. Now I always do reviews on prop trading firms to see whether they're actually suitable for my trading style and whether I can recommend them to you as well. So today I want to take a look at top step traders. Now they're pretty well established on their website, I've been going for over nine years, loads of promotions, loads of discounts at the moment. So I thought I'd have a quick look, see if I wanted to sign up for them. So the first thing to note is they work on a subscription basis. Now I'm not a big fan of that based on the fact that I'd rather have a one-time fee and therefore work around that than get retakes. But if the subscription is low enough and you're able to pass the phases in a fast enough time and therefore the actual overall cost is not huge, then it's okay. I'll actually look at that as an evaluation process. So I actually got quite excited when I first saw the monthly charges. They weren't massively high. We're only talking $375 for what appeared to be a $150,000 account. But when you actually look deeper into it and read the small print, that's actually only buying power of $150,000. And reality is based on the leverage, the account size is minuscule. But because they're not very clear on the website what the actual buying power is, the actual ratios, it's very hard to actually work out what your starting account size is and therefore what you need to make. But I've done a bit of research and it almost looks like you need to make a 100% return on your account size to actually get past the first phase. And when you actually look at the drawdown levels, they're actually quite large in relation to the actual account size. And I think it's gonna cause a lot of confusion if people sign up for this. Let's have a quick look at the website and go through the numbers. So we can see on the website to start with, they're celebrating their ninth birthday. So that at least shows that they're a fairly long-standing legitimate trading firm. And therefore that gives you confidence, the fact that you've actually signed up and are able to pass, and you're going to get payouts on time when you expect them, as well as you're getting a pretty good 30% off the entire evaluation process. So hopefully that actually knocks down the monthly fee by 30%, and that lasts for the entire duration for your qualification. And also they do publish stats, which is I think is a fantastic thing as well. So they're able to show that funded trader withdrawals in 2021 is $2,500. The number of funded traders they've got in accounts in 2020, which is over 6,000, well represented across the entire world, as well as a 97% of the funded traders say that top set experience improved their trading. And I think I can understand why, it's because they have very good risk management through the phases. So there are two funding opportunities with Top Step. You can either trade futures or forex. Now I think most people would be looking to trade forex, but again, futures is one of those things that people like to trade as indices or commodities. So for me personally, I like to trade both. I like to have a mixture of indices, whether it's UK or US 30, as well as forex on the major currency pairs. So I'd feel very restricted just trading forex. Now I know they have a rule in place that says you're only allowed to trade those certain instruments in the actual phases. So if you break that, they are then instantly disqualified. So let's take a look at Forex. I think that's probably the most popular one to choose. Now, if you look at these options here, you've got 200,000, 300,000, and 500,000, but in the small print there's buying power. So based on one to 100 leverage, therefore that's only a $5,000 account if you're looking at the 500,000. You then have a profit target to make $5,000. So effectively you need to make 100% and all that time you're paying a $275 per month subscription fee. So if you're like me and quite risk averse, I'm only risking sort of half a percent per trade, but I'm only looking to make one or 2% on a particular trade overall. If I was on this one, I'd have to have 50 or 60 or even 100 winning trades in a row without having any failures to actually get to that 100% target. And that's just not achievable. And also thinking you might only be having one or two trades per day at most, even per week, you can very quickly see how this could be dragged out for months and months. And as soon as you start looking at $275 per month fee, that soon racks up. Let's say it takes five months. You're into $1,300, $1,400 in subscription fees, and that's better to pay that to a one-time challenge fee and get retakes. So in the first phase profit step, you're allowed to have a weekly loss limit of 3,300 and I think if you're getting anywhere close to that sort of drawdown, it's almost impossible to get back and hit those targets. You'll be in this for years trying to get to that point. And in the second phase, which is really managing the risk and getting to a much tighter control trading, your weekly loss limit is actually even reduced further down to 1,650. Now also all trades must be closed by the Friday, so therefore you can't hold trades over the weekend. I also understand that you're not allowed to trade news on this one as well. So there's lots of rules behind the scenes, not quite immediately available from the website. And therefore it means just, it makes it harder and harder to pass. So 
So we can also see the list of currency pairs. There's pretty much a widespread, but again, some people might want to trade outside of these, and obviously that's in a rule violation by trading currency pairs not supported. You're also not allowed to hedge at all on this uh, particular account, and therefore that really does reduce some people's ability just to manage the risk and manage some of the trades. If they're in a long-term swing trade, they might want to take a counteracting short sell, and therefore that would class as a hedging and therefore violate the rules. So in the FAQs, it really does explain more on the leverage and the buying power. And essentially, it says here that you've only got a $5,000 account if you're on the top level of the platform. So what I do like is their rule breakdown. They're really trying to encourage traders to manage the risk, protect the profits, and not get into huge drawdowns in their trading. But I think because you're looking to get 100% return on your account before you get funded, that really does encourage people to take more risk and not protect their capital and just go for it with huge big trades. So I do think there are a lot of positive with this particular prop trading firm. Now they do encourage people to manage their risk and I think that's definitely one of the benefits. But I think the downsides are you are literally tied into a subscription plan and therefore there's no real end date to when it's going to end. It's very difficult to make a 100% return and literally flip an account from $5,000 to $10,000 in a short period of time. I think the people who are doing that are probably over risking and over leveraging themselves and that will probably get into more of a situation where you're likely to blow the account and not succeed. So for me personally it's not a prop firm that I want to sign up with right now. I'll keep an eye on them see if they actually do another announcements or change things around but I doubt it very much. They've been going for nine years and this seems to be their successful trading model. I'm not a fan of subscription services. I like to have that one-time fee, know exactly where I am and not trade around leverage to get the account. I'd rather have a true $100,000 account example and therefore make profits on that rather than a $5,000 account with huge buying power. Hope you enjoyed my quick review of Top Step Traders. Comment down below what other prop firms you'd like me to review in the future and I'll catch up again soon. Cheers.